Hello, this is my presentation for the International Co-Space Online ICO Challenge Virtual RoboCup 2020. I'm Alex Morrison, and my participation code is SG6057. I am from Yunus Primary School and Singapore. I participated in the Coast Space Rescue Under 12 game. I had a lot of fun with RoboCup because I was able to learn a new coding language, C+. I learned how I could use my surroundings to my advantage. There are many people around the globe who are interested in coding and robotics like me. It is great to learn from each other. I would like to learn from my pairing partner IR6045 on how to better navigate my robot around the map. As you can see in this video, the red robot belongs to me, and the blue robot is ir 6045s His robot moves a lot smoother than mine, and I would like to know how he does it. And, as you can see, he's using his robot to move at the sides where super objects usually spawn, which I would really want to know how he did. My first strategy was to use the surrounding colors to navigate my robot around the map. I use conditions so that in this area over here, and it is detecting green, and loaded objects is less than three, it would turn into the double point area and collect blue objects. I also made it so that when it detects the color purple in this area it, and loaded objects is full, it would turn into the deposit area. My second strategy was to use variables to make the robot do a specific action when a condition was true. As said earlier, I use conditions to make it so that when the color sensors detect the color purple and loaded objects are equal to six, I use the real left and real right variables to make the robot reverse and turn. Else, if the condition is false, then the robot should move forward. I encountered many problems during the game, one of which is how to make the robot move more smoothly around the map. As you can see, my robot takes three turns to move away from the wall, while IR6045 is able to turn away from the wall in one turn. To solve this problem, I got advice from my teacher on how to increase and decrease the speed of my robot to make it move more smoothly. Another problem I encountered was how to navigate the robot to the locations of the super objects. I tried to solve this through using the super object variable, but I did it without success. The last problem and most annoying is how to fix a couple of bugs encountered during the friendlies. For example, the robot has deposited the objects, but still indicated fully loaded. I fixed this by either reviewing my code or restarting my computer. As said earlier, you will be seeing my robot, the red one, depositing and the loaded objects remaining full. I would suggest that the organizer look into this bug and fix it because it would help save a lot of precious time during the challenge. My name is Alex Morrison. I am from Yunus Primary School in Singapore. Thank you for listening to my presentation and I hope you enjoyed it.